Oh yeah, so look like we got LG, the former champs, going up against Legacy. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I be for real rooting for Brazil, y'all. Oh God, they be out here bossing. So you already know who I'm rooting for, and they look like they got some good things going up top. They got Magikarp up here with the comfy. They doing some dirty things. LG is with the Mew coming in right now. I mean, but you got a good Blaziken and the Elder Gods right there. So you really can't go wrong with that. Hey, let's see what they do. Good body block. Good body block. Y'all got to realize that, man. Like, when y'all be playing with teams and people in solo queues, they don't never body block. They be running away from the shit. Like, bro, take that for me. You know I was about to die? Ooh, they using our Shifu? Hey, this is interesting. See, this is why I like Legacy, man. They always coming out with some new things. Like... When's the last time y'all seen our Shifu out here? Even with the little... Okay, did he go on red buff too? Red or Shifu? Oh, they got four up top. All right. A right, little engagement. They just got the middles. They're going to back off. All right, I like this. I love watching attorneys play because it's like when you're doing your solo queue stuff, every time you get, you get people in here, they would have start pushing past all of a sudden. Ain't nobody would have just disengaged, start rotating, getting a farm up and whatnot nope people still trying to push past they would have tried to kill that magic card y'all know they would have been trying to kill that magic card and they got a zero or yo lg pulling out some shit too zero or i bet zero or gonna come down with the comfy ain't he up look at him look at him all with the comfy already i knew it i knew it red or shifu gotta go get his stacks in they getting these buffs in. There's three up top. Hold on, Leah. Thank you, cameraman. Okay, it looked like they was about to engage up here. Hold on, they might still engage, but Zero Aura popping in. Don't do it. Don't do it. Zero Aura's here. Zero Aura is here. Oh, it's too late. Damn, look at him. He ejected in there. Oh, that's one kill. Oh, my God. They're going to be looking for more blood. Hold on, Cramorant's up in here, so maybe not the Muse dead. Muse dead as hell, right? Okay, okay. Nice engagement. Nice. All right, all right. Still fair, still equal. Look at their faces. They all look like they chilling, too. We got four up top. Three on left side. Okay. Oh, 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 oh God, dog. Y'all see that? Man? He almost killed all of them again. Yeah, they, they going in. Hey, look. Now Gyarados come with the comfy. And I don't know. That's their orb. It's starting to explode, people. Hey, somebody may have thought that that wasn't going to be a good idea, but it's looking real good right now. And you got the Mew over there in they jungle. Cramorant's coming over there to come stop it. Is Mew going to be able to get out of there? Nah, Mew's dying. Mew's dying. I don't know. That wasn't worth it. Damn, he didn't get the buff. That was a little aggressive, no? LG, y'all might be the former champs, but y'all doing a little too much. Legacy may take this right here. Okay, red buff powering up his power punch. Uh, maybe a little too soon. Is he going to be able to get it? Tree gets it. Nice. How the hell Tree get it way back there? They're going to push that pad, though. That's for sure. Me going to end up dying again. And they pushing up top pad, too. Blaziken up there getting the kills. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Legacy. They're going to break it with just 14? Oh, God. Okay, no. They did a little over Kappa likes 8. Look at Legacy down there talking about. That's my boy. That's my boy. Mm hmm And y'all, a lot of people, you hear Chris Trills talking about, like, people don't watch Cramorant videos, which is really crazy. Because Cramorant is that guy. Like, Cramorant has the CC. He has, you know, uh, the area effect for the damage. Like, he literally can do a whole lot. His ultimate is literally like a Gallic gun. Oh, you know, they pushing in. They pushing in deep now. They getting aggressive. They didn't steal the red buff, though, nor the blue one, either. They better get out of there. LG ain't the one to be playing with. But Kramer is sitting right here. Okay, okay, okay. He just wanted to pokey, pokey, poke. They still got both their pads up. Is LG going to play for Ray at this point? I'm around going wish and mean look. I mean, not mean look. Uh, foul play. You see, a lot of people don't even use uh, mean look. In actual tournaments and stuff. So when you see that shit happening in your solo queue matches, that should be tragic as hell. Oh, they got vision on him. They know he's coming. He's power punching. Okay, he pushed him back. Ejected away. They're gonna. Okay, okay, okay. It's a big ass fight going on. Gyarados is the first to go down. He's out of here. Umbreon's gonna be out of here. Look at the defense. Look at the defense. 
Now they're just gonna keep beating their ass. Wait, um, guys coming back. It's hey, Tree, get your ass in there. Oh my god. Tree and Crime Rider coming from the backside. They should have been over there in the front side, though. Blaziken wouldn't even die. Are oh, they trying to get the Zero or who uses Oak? Look at that. Oh, yo, he's still killing people. But he the one that goes down today. Comfy getting away with that foul play. I don't know, y'all. Legacy's looking really sharp right now with the red Earth Shifu. We got Blaziken over there. Crime Rider's doing hella damage. But we've seen LG be in this position before, though. Like, LG usually loses their first game and then don't lose another game ever since after that. That's usually how they do their thing anyway. It's kind of like playing cards with them or trying to go to play some builders with these fools. They like, they like hustlers sitting here making you think that you suck. You get in here, you losing. And next thing you know, they winning 12 games straight. They ain't even have it. They've never gotten a, an objective this whole game. Foul play catching two of them over there. Gyarados really working that thing. Zerora up here, Muse securing it. But it didn't look like Legacy necessarily cared for. They're really on the defensive side right now. Red or Shifu back there. Oh, they got him caught out. Oh, damn, Tree, that was a good push. But they only caught out one. And that was the same person that keep catching out left and right. Zerora sitting here. He's going to get caught out too with the comfy. Gyarados is out of there. Was it was the goal to just break it then? Cause I would have thought Gyarados would have engaged a lot harder than what he did and just let everyone die. But the score ain't that far away now. They only about seventy, what seven away? With the two minute mark approaching, that's gonna be at least one score. So that they really not that far away. And they could go for that lower T one because it's at a low range right now. So it actually be really good. Hmm. Let's see what they end up doing. Red buff over here. Look like they just trying to go for vision. And you know, like, when y'all playing regular, around this mark, motherfuckers is over here trying to get into fight, burning their oats and whatnot. Look, look, look what the pros is doing. They sitting here getting vision, rotating. They got a cram around way down here. Like, what's going on with that? Alright, the most important fight of the game. Cramorant's way down there, way over behind the Gyarados. Is he gonna eject over there behind it? Okay, Red Red Bear's over there. He's getting ready to squish in on Mew, who doesn't even see him over there. Oh, they caught the Zeroar out. They caught the Zeroar out, and Red Buff is coming up from behind him. But they didn't kill him. They didn't kill no one. Cramorant's right over there, in the comfort of the wall. He ejected over. Oh, okay, they got Umbreon down. Mew look like he's getting ready to go down next. He does there. Oh, chilling in there. They found him. And they got his ass. Comfy getting ready to go down, too. This game's going over to Legacy, baby. Gyarados is the only one alive. What is he going to be able to do? What are you going to do? He going to bounce? There's all five of Legacy members is up right now. He catches out Elder Gods, but he ends up going down. And like I said, the game goes over to Legacy. But hey, don't fret. Because LG do this every year. That's how they won the last two years. Right? So, it's just game one. And Legacy looking like they loving it right now. Look at their faces. Utano on. Okay, Blaze again. We got. Hey, yo. Overlord must be mad. Overlord done pulled out Zorark with the comfy. Nah. Nah. They're big mad, bro. They're, they're big, huge mad. If they're doing that. Ain't no way I'm believing anything else. Ain't no way. I mean, I see the Zerark in lane for right now, but nah, that 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 means that he mad for sure, for sure. They about to do some really dirty birdie stuff. I guarantee y'all. LG not about to lose again, bro. LG not about to lose again. That's all I'm saying. I said it once. I said it twice. They not about to lose. Look at them. They got three up top. We got Leafeon, Hoopa. Okay, with the magic card. They gonna try to get him up there real good. But then they going up against the Blaze again and the Cram is comfy right now. I mean bottom lane probably got a little more chance with the Umbreon against the tree right now and the Sylveon. Right? I mean, but Overlord's almost five already. Nine minutes to go. Magic Carp's at about half over halfway, three quarters of a way. He may be Gyarados before eight minutes, actually. They gonna be looking for some engage real soon, no? 
Okay, here we go. Anna Sylveon pulled up top. I don't think they know that. Oh, they're going to get some good engagement. Oh, good slow smoke. I bet the Comfy used the slow smoke. That was good. Really, really, really good. All right. Now Comfy's going down. Zorar's invading. Okay, are they going to meet each other in the middle? I think that's what they're doing. But hey, hold on. Sylveon's noticing that it's going down. Oh shit, is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boy, I think it's about to be popping. He's going up top. Oh shit. He's going, he's going. Here he goes. That's Hooper down. Oh, about to with the Cramorant. Gyarados is a Gyarados. New is going to be Gyarados before 8. He's trying to look for Lutano, but he can't even get to Lutano because Overlord's sitting there beating him back. Leafeon's up here. Okay. Good disengagement for now. Look like Sylveon's gonna get caught out in the middle. Don't pop out, Sylveon. It's not the right time. Look at the levels. Level 7 for Overlord with no other level 7 on the board. And he got the Sylveon. I knew the Sylveon should have popped out. Umbreon's down here trying to do his best to hold a pad. Trying to do ju juke and judge. Oh, stop him. Oh, too late, Sylveon. Uh, Mr. Umbreon. He's dodging though. He sure is dodging. He holding that pad. He doing the best he can for sure, for sure. Sylveon's there. They're getting ready for the Altarius again though. Gyarados is pulling back up top of Hoopa. Cramorant's back in the jungle. Look like they're going to prioritize for top over there with Gyarados. Cramorant's seen it. See that map awareness is everything, man. He's seen it. He already went top. Are they going to be able to hold Pat or not? Oh, shit. Kramer came from the back and got the Leafeon. Hooper said it's time to go get out of here with the portal. Kramer is maybe looking to score, but he's getting contested by Sylveon on the map. And Sylveon actually wins that fight. He gets his lick back from earlier getting beat up by Zoroark. But Zoroark is down there at the bottom and secures that against the Umbreon. A given. But Legacy loves this Reggie and Lecky, though. They don't ever really be prioritizing for bottom. I noticed that, too. Some teams do, some teams don't. Okay, Tree's doing his best to try to defend. Ah, uh, but it's, it's, it's not going to work. They need Zoroark over there with the Comfy. That's what they need. That's what they need. But Zoroark is... Oh, shit. Here he comes. Here comes Zoroark, just like I was talking about. Oh, God damn. Okay, he misses O. He misses O. Good thing, because he was about to get all four of them right there. Hooper seen it come and send some people home. All right, good. They made it out. Uh-oh, Blaziken's get, getting some licking in right now. Sylveon keeps getting caught out over there. Y'all notice that in regular games, yo, tank is usually in front. But in the tournament games, the tank be everywhere. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. He stopped it from going through the portal. That's why people use that move, right? Isn't it like Slash? To be able to go and knock them up real quick. That's actually pretty smart. Okay, now they got it. Look like they're gonna be pushing for top. Blaziken's here. Trees here. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. They're gonna stop that way. They need their Cramorant, right? They wouldn't push without their Cramorant, would they? Would they? I mean, they got the Hooper here and they got an Umbreon here. They don't really have no attackers here right now. Okay, Cramorant's actually going down. They actually went down for Cramorant and got him. So now they're gonna probably push top. No. Okay, Blaziken's trying, but he's getting beat up by the Gyarados. Are they going to be able to catch up to him? They do catch up to him. Okay, nice engagement. Tree looks like he might be going down, but Overlord's go over here now. Overlord and Tree's over here. Overlord's getting probably getting ready to take off both of these people. Oh, so now he's waiting for it. He's waiting for his cooldowns to come back. Who's up there with him? Nobody, though. Nobody's up here with him. Is he going to go in by himself? Okay, no, Blaziken and Kramer is coming back. No, he's going in by himself. Ooh, God. Oh, look at all that damage he did. Okay, with the red help of Reggie and Lecky, I think they'll be able to push this. They'll be able to push this in, even without Tree being there, for sure. Okay, every one of them on Legacy left. They left it open to go prioritize bottom. Okay, so they pretty much just gave it up. They want to go get their bottom one. Okay, smart, smart. I feel that, I feel that. Let that 25 go in. It's not going to be much of an overcap where they can get 38 points overcap in. Ooh. That's a smart play right there. That's a smart play. Because y'all know motherfuckers would have went over there and just tried to defend top lane with their lives. And they all would have died and they would still would have packed in that shit anyway. Look at Overlord going in right now. He got one. And that's going to be two. Stop them both from going through the portal. 
Oh my god, Zoroark Crumphy and he went up top and scored. Is he gonna be able to get the Gyarados too? Okay, no, he's just gonna farm and get up out of there. Cramorant's on his backup side. I got his bodyguard right there with him. I see you. I don't know, y'all. This is a close match. I don't know, y'all. Ain't no way LG gonna give two out, right? There ain't no way they're gonna be too old, right? Okay, he got that red buff. Nice, nice. And Cramer, his bodyguard right there. No, he going for the Gyarados. Okay, Gyarados had to go into the ultimate. He's not gonna be able to get out of there. Nope. Okay, Cramer knew to leave. He would have gotten the Gyarados had Gyarados not ulted. That was okay. That was that was good. That was good. That was a good counter. Oh, but wait, Legacy is still going in. Okay. I didn't think that they was gonna keep pushing. We haven't seen a lot from the Umbreon though, no? Like, we ain't seen a lot of Wish, we ain't seen a lot of the foul play action, like... Remember when Blastoise was up there? People was picking Blastoise, we would see Slowbro. Like, do they not like the Slowbro? Is it because Umbreon has more mobility? And is able to move and, you know, be able to do things? I don't know, man, I love me some Blastoise. Like, when Zoroark's coming in... <sighs> Wish his ass, wave his ass on out of there. You know what I mean? Serve board right there on the bottom of the fight. And then Leafeon follow up right there behind the surf on, on an oak because he already stunned. Like, bro, like, what? What? I'm saying I'll be sitting there stunning his ass. But a lot of people do like the Hoopa. I know I don't really play picks a favor no more. It's crazy how, like, the meta be switching up. Oh, shit, Zora is going in. He's going in deep. Okay, he's pushing him back. He just want to push him back and get some vision. Is he going to go over there and take a camera? Man, I want to see Overlord. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Cramorant's over here. Are they going for a sneaky back cap? But Jack Gyarados is caught out. They can't be going for a sneaky back cap. Gyarados is dead. Oh, my God. And they're losing the fight. They're going to be able to bring him back over here. But it's not going to be enough. Oh, Cramorant goes down to the goddamn Leafeon. Zorak's going down. Oh, but here goes Overlord. He's getting ready to take over. And it's looking like a nice picking... Look at him. Everybody low on Legacy. Nah, this game's going straight over to LG. He's going to be chasing down that Leafeon up top. Blaziken's here. He got his kick set up. And ain't nobody going to be able to contest this. That was not smart of them at all. What? Whose call was it to have Sylveon go up there and then Gyarados get caught out down there in a in Ray fight? That was not smart, bro. That was not smart. Even if y'all take shields out, man, you ain't gonna take Blaze again, shit. Or he's still gonna be able to score. And y'all have to score. Y'all dealing with Overlord, who ain't even letting y'all get back to y'all base. He's sending you straight to the Pokemon Center. Shouldn't have been beating him up like that before. Shouldn't have been beating him up like that before. That's all I gotta say. He's still there. Look, look, he's full health now. Don't tell me he about to try to get some more in. If Tree gets to push people away, he gonna get in there. Okay, no. He gonna wait for them to move away. Oh, shit. He's behind them now. Oh, damn. He's scoring. Oh, damn. He's scoring some more. This game over. This game. What would I tell y'all? LG's a bunch of hustlers. They played them. Thought that they could win a game or two. But they was like, nigga, you can win just one. Look what I'm about to do to you. Oh. All right. Game three, man. What they gonna do over here? They looking like they going with the same squad. Actually, no. They picked up a mammal swine, y'all. They picked up a Mammo and a Serluge. Okay, and they picked up a Blissey this time, and they went to the Zero. Oh, interesting. I'm interested to see what the Mammo Swine gonna do. We got the Hoopa and Serluge up top. Mammo and uh, Eevee down bottom. All right. Interesting. Interesting. The Blissey, though, huh? I didn't think I was going to even be able to see a Blissey. God, dog, look at all that damage that they did. Cramer had to come back over here real quick to help out. But Leafeon up here, too. Hooper just sitting here trying to support. Are they getting ready to look for a good gank or no? Oh, dog, Sarah get up out of there. They seen you. Your hut, boy, get you a berry to eat up on. Legacy needs to be able to do something really good here. If they can kick out LG right now, that'll be huge for Legacy. Oh my god, look at the engagement going on right now. Oh, they taking out Zerard. They say you're not about to do what you was doing to us last time. Getting your levels up on us. We gonna shut that shit down today. Sylveon's going up in there. Are they gonna be able to get Cram around too? Come on, Leafeon, do something. Oh, yes, he did. With the blades. Oh, oh, oh. I still miss the Leafeon blade. The Leafeon, smack. 
That shit was my thing to do right there. I love that shit right there. But this one cool too. And he going Ice Fang. Okay, that's what I figured he would do. He probably went Earthquake as well. Sarah Luge is up top. He got to stack in with the Hoopa. Sylveon look like he might be rotating top from the back side. Or keeping an eye on Red Buff. Waiting for the Blaziken to go there. He's going to steal the Blaziken. He's going to steal it from Lutano, isn't he? Yup, everyone's pushing in. And they end up getting the... They got the Cramorant. Is he going to be able to get the Red Buff like I was expecting? Oh, no. Good kick by the Blaziken. Oh, run, Lutano, run. He's trying to get you. Nice run to the second base. And they're pushing up top. Sarah Luge up here with the Hooper. The Hooper's going to be able to get everyone out of the portal just in case it happens. And it gets sticky, icky, icky. The tree's down there again by doing them lonesome, holding down pie. You know, that's what I used to think Hooper did, right? Back in season 10. Wasn't that a thing that Slowbro did? I mean, my bad, not Hooper. Slowbro used to hold down pie really good by himself. The Mammal Swine's down there. Leafy on the Sylveon rotating back up and forth. Hooper and Sarah Luge up here waiting for the Blaziken to pop out. Level's looking pretty good on the side of Legacy for sure. Um, Luminosity's doing still okay. I mean, we got a level 8 on the side of Legacy though. Two level 8s. My bad. Yeah, they're going to break this. They might as well go ahead and get that up, get ready to rotate bottom. But they only got a Mammoth Swine holding down there with a tree versus a Cramorant. And the Zoroark is actually there, too. He's trying to get vision on him to see where he's at. He missed his Ice Fane. They end up catching out the Sylveon. Sylveon's getting ready to go down. Oh, the Whirlwind misses, actually. Oh, and he landed his ultimate on Zoroark. They really shutting down Overlord right now. And he already got top objective they got bottom objective too good map awareness they're just holding everything down right now putting lg in a real tough spot 160 landing there even more points putting the goal at one they're not gonna break it are they 185 to zero excuse me 210 to zero this is a much different game than the game we've had before and lg looks like they might be sweating a little bit legacy just can't let off you know what i mean like you know, you realize you get in the games where you're doing really good. I hate when I be in this position in my solo queue games when we're doing that good because people usually start messing up towards the end. They usually start getting overconfident. They start being overly aggressive for no reason. It only takes one slip up, y'all. One slip up. And these are the pros. And look what they're doing. LG getting ready to focus on bottom objective. They run into a Sarah Lushree's getting ready to go get some vision. Ooh, look at Cramer right there. Cramer's going to use his... Oh, Cramer does not have Unite. He's getting ready to push one in. They're getting ready to take the Mammoth Swine. They said, fuck it, we'll just take one of them then. Okay, they're going to back up. All right, that was close. That was close. Had they got anyone but that Mammo, it would have been a wrap. It would have been an L-Rapo Tapo. Oh, shit, they're going back in for it. Tree's going in for another engagement. Are they going to be able to use their ultimates? They're waiting for the... the oh, shit, God, dog. Oh. He got them through the Hooper portal, and actually LG is the one going down. Zero Arc is trying to get out of there. Leafeon's looking for him. Oh, look at the juke juke moves, but it's not enough. Sylveon takes him down, and once what was a good engagement, it just turned upside down for their ass. Legacy just turned it all around. It looked like they're trying to score 15 here, and they're going to start rotating topside maybe for that top objective. That was some good defense. That was good defense. Legacy does defense really well. When they start going into offensive mode, it don't really work out. I'm not saying LG, that was a bad play, but they just, they was anticipating it probably. Okay, here we go in another engage in top fight. Okay, they call Tree out. They're going to be able to kill Tree. Yep, Tree's out of here. Blaziken's still working on the Reggie Alecki. Sarah Luge is over here with the Leafeon. He's charging up that goddamn kick, and he got to, gets it too. Ooh, damn. Now he's going off for more blood. But is he going to be able to get anything else? They got the Mammoth Swine over here, and they're going to shut him down and take out that Reggie Alecki. Well, it was good that they didn't give it up to El Legacy, though. It's good that they didn't give it up to Legacy. I hope Legacy isn't talking shit. Y'all see him down there? Y'all see him? Don't be talking shit to LG. It ain't over yet till the fat lady starts singing. Okay. Hey, look, man. I have bad... It doesn't look good for Legacy. Just seeing them talking shit. If he talking shit to LG, I, it's not looking good. You do not want to put LG in that type of situation where you making them feel like they forced to be beating your ass. Because that's what they going to do. Look like they going to be giving up bottom objective. That's fine. They portal to everyone over here to knock out top. Are they trying to get a base? Are they trying to knock out top for base? Blissey's doing the best that they can. 
trying to defend it. And they're not even going to try to go for the kill the Blissey neither. They're putting it down to 21, which is not bad. If they do so happen to get Reggie Lecky, that's going to be a huge overdunk. What are they going to do now? They have time for another fight. Looks like Elder's going to be trying to go for their top object their top goal again. Cramorant's up here. Tree's catching somebody off guard. Oh my god, the Sylveon's down. There's a 5v4, 4v4, really, until Blaziken gets over here. They see the Serlu. Serlu does his Oh, Serlu's getting ready to take down the Blissey, but Blissey does, does not have a Serlu. ends up going down. Damn, they're actually getting people in the tree and scooping them up like ice cream cake cupcakes. Oh my god. These things is going down, and it looks like they're going to be taking up this top pad this time. I done told it. And now look what the score is. Look what the score is. Mm-hmm. Was talking all that shit to LG. And now where they is. Right in front of you. They ain't that far behind now. This is intense. Brazil, you might be going home. Look at all them yellow dots. Zoroark over there getting up a lot of that XP. He 13, Leafeon 13, Sylveon 13. But Zero, you know, uh, Overlord being 13 with the Blaziken, I think that's still going to be fine. Tree and Mammo is about the same. Cramorant needs to get his oat. Sarah Luz needs his oat back. Everyone's getting ready to start setting up. I like this. I like this here. Who's going to take it off? Who is going to take it off? Legacy, LG, the former champs. Are they going to be able to continue? Oh, 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 he caught him off guard. He caught the Cramorant, but then the tree was able to push the Mamoswine off, so they really couldn't follow up on that. But Mamoswine did the, oh, he's able to get away. They're going to have to disengage, disengage. No, Legacy, don't go back. We, oh, shit, the Blissus is, okay, well, they got the tree down. The Blissus is still right there, and the Hoopa's now down, and your Leafeon is down, and the Blazion's sitting here kicking everybody in their fucking face. Their teeth is flying everywhere. Look at Legacy. Everyone threw their hands up. I told y'all. Why did y'all engage? Y'all knew y'all shouldn't engage with that. There was no point in doing such things. Y'all didn't went in there. You Sarah Luz went to go and chase somebody in the freaking bush and he had no business chasing it. Your mama swine had already got caught off. Sure you caught the tree, but if I catching the tree out, they yo they, they whole team caught Sarah Luz out. And then what happened? We knew what happened. We synced it right here. Now they a hundred and thirty now. And they not even letting them go. The Cramor ain't stopping them from going. Yeah, they quitting. They gonna quit now. They can't even make it back home. LG said this is what you get for talking all that shit. Now the fat lady singing. They got four? He got a quadra? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. We gonna wrap this one up. That LG got it in the books. Look at LG. He took his thing off. He, can, he ain't got no words. He got no words for the fuckery that has just been brought upon this fool. <laughs> there y'all have it, folks. I hope y'all enjoyed this LG Legacy Lil Casting from your boy Wally Truly. Hey, you know what? We gonna do another one next time. But what y'all think about that? Let me know down in the comments how y'all would have ran things differently. Was it the comms? Was it the team? What y'all think? Let me know. Love y'all, man. Appreciate you for watching. I'm just chilling with the crew now. Finally, I've a workers about to go down. Glad I have some money, make them all proud. Doing what I love on the playground. Cause I've been